Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum to all the believers all over the planet. Um, I got an interesting question today. I got a good question today. This brother asked me um, how I felt the very first time that I ever picked up the Holy Quran and read it. And I really, I really wanted to uh, talk about that and answer that question. Uh, the very first time I ever read the Quran, no lie, wallahi, was around fall 2000. It was, it was around maybe September, September 2000. I remember because the holidays were coming up and um, like Thanksgiving was coming up and brothers was getting ready to start fasting. So the first time I read the Quran was, was, was around September 2000. I was in college and um, I remember picking up the Quran and reading, um, I think I made it to Surah Al-Nisa. And as I was reading, it started to make more and more sense. Actually, the first book I read was called Towards Understanding Islam. Then I read the Quran. And as I was reading, man, it started making more and more sense. And I remember feeling like I've been lied to my whole life. Because like I told you, I grew up a Christian. I was raised a Christian. And I remember feeling like, like, man, how come nobody told me this, man? Like, like I was reading it and just feeling like I've been lied to my whole life. Like, all the answers to life questions for me were right there in the Quran. And I just never picked it up and really sat down and read it. And trust me, at that point, I was reading a whole lot of stuff, man. I was... I read Message to the Black Man and all the literature from the Nation of Islam. I studied the lessons, the 120, the history of the Father, all, all the stuff from the nation, from the five percenters and everything. I was reading the stuff New Wabians was putting out. I was reading about Buddhism, Judaism, everything. Jehovah's Witness, the different forms of Christianity, the different denominations or whatever. And I sat down and read that Quran, man, and I said, how come nobody ever told me this, man? I, didn't, I was even friends with Muslims. I remember back in the day, I was friends with some Muslims. We used to play basketball together back in Detroit. And I'm like, yo, how come they never told me about this? Man, how come you never told me? I, you should have told me, man. But it was so beautiful. It was so perfect. And... Man, I, I, I really can't even, it's, it's one of those things that's unexplainable, man. You just have to pick it up and read it for yourself. But I, I just remember thinking, and then I remember thinking how dangerous the world is. Like, then I just had a different view about the world. Because I had all these stereotypes and all these judgments and, and, and things about Muslims. You know, the only thing I really knew about Muslims was that, you know, growing up in Detroit, on the west side, was that they didn't want to surround their women. You try to holler at one of their women, they was going to knock you out. They always was up in the corner stores thinking we was going to jack steal something to rob the store. And some of them was cool and hung out and played basketball with us. That's pretty much the only thing I knew about Muslims that weren't black Muslims or directly involved in the nation of Islam. But all the brothers from Iraq and Pakistan and the Middle East, I really didn't know much about them except, you know, for what I could see directly. So, it was just real interesting, man. And then I realized how dangerous the world was because once I actually sat down and read this Quran, it just gave me like a new, like a totally different, um, just a totally different perspective, man. Like, when I finally, when I finally looked at it, I was like, man, the world is dangerous because they put all of this off on Muslims and they inject all this poison into the media and into people's minds about Muslims, and it's nothing like that. And I'm sitting here reading for myself, and I hadn't even took Shahada yet. I was reading the Quran, I hadn't even become Muslim. And I was just thinking like, man, the world is really a dangerous place. And the media, the media encourages this. They make Muslims look bad. So I took Shahada, I took Shahada maybe a few months later after reading the Quran. I finally took Shahada, alhamdulillah. And, um, you know, the following year, September 11th happened. And man, alhamdulillah, man, after that happened, and I seen how, how ignorant 
how, how, the, how the media tries to promote ignorance and how some people accept it, it didn't do anything but make my faith stronger in Islam and make me realize that Islam really is the truth. So, basically, man, one thing I love about Islam, you know, alhamdulillah, Allah blessed me to understand the Quran and understand what was going on. He put it in my heart to understand it. You know, to all my Muslims that understand, alhamdulillah, you know, I advise you to sit down and read the Quran. One thing about the Quran, either you're going to get it or you're not going to get it, man. If you're not going to get it, you're just not going to get it. It's no point arguing or getting upset. If you get it, alhamdulillah, you're very blessed. If you don't get it, you may never get it. Try to read it a second time, a third time. I didn't get it my first time, but it made sense. But then after a while, that was it. So, you know, all you people that talk about y'all read the Quran, and y'all know the history of Muslims, and we evil, and whoop doo doo wah 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 y'all don't get it. So, and if you don't get it, you don't get it. So you're going to be exactly what you are. You're going to be a Kafir. So, you know, and that's on you. That's, you know, it's not, not, you know, I'm not judging you. I'm just saying, that's what you are. So, either you get it or you don't. But I advise everybody to stop yapping and stop trying to find surahs in the Quran to try to prove your point about something. Like, I'm trying to prove to you Muslims are violent. It says right here that Muslims are violent. Now, read the whole thing and then come holla at me and speak to me with knowledge. Assalamu alaikum to all the believers all over the world. Assalamu alaikum. Stand up for the brothers in Palestine and the Muslims all over the world. Assalamu alaikum.